But uh, another thing I've always would love to be able to talk to you about is uh, the Hulk Hogan versus Ultimate Warrior feud in 98. Now, a lot of people make fun of that in hindsight, but at the time, who the fuck wouldn't have booked Hulk Hogan versus Ultimate Warrior? <laughs> That's one way. That's one way of looking at it, and, and an accurate one too. Look, people can again. It's it's the nature of wrestling fans to try to sound like they know more than they really do. Um, politicians do it. <laughs> you know, a lot of actors and actresses do it. A lot of people do it. But you know, if, if, if as objectively as one can possibly be. You know, look what we did with Hulk Hogan and Randy Savage in WCW. Yeah. We drew a ton of money by recycling that feud from WWF. Look what we did with Hulk Hogan and Roddy Piper um, in terms of the, the, the money that we generated by recycling that former feud from WWF. There's two examples of incredible financial success in the resurrection of two older storylines from the WWF. Why would anyone who's reasonable bet against a Hulk Hogan warrior, warrior scenario, given the success of Hulk Hogan Savage and of Hulk Hogan Piper? Yeah. So to, to your point, but again, that's a context and a perspective that only someone who's thinking and not feeling based on limited information. Yeah, I, I, if I was able to time travel and between me and you, I can, uh, I would have booked that exact storyline. Well, I think a lot of people had. And look, it didn't, it didn't fail because it was a bad idea. It was fail. It failed because it was poorly executed. It failed because the chemistry was wrong. Again, we're talking about something that we talked earlier in this interview. The chemistry was not right. And it's not that they didn't get along. They did. It's just when I say chemistry, it's not always, you know, how people treat each other or whether they're friends or not. Sometimes you can have bad chemistry between good friends. Mm. There's a lot of people that I've worked with in the past that I considered great friends and still do. As a, as a performer, though, they don't bring out the best of me, and I don't bring out the best of them. That's, the chemistry isn't there for that. So, again, it's your perspective. It's what your understanding is of the business in, in, in a bro much broader but yet still in-depth sense. The chemistry between Warrior and Hulk wasn't there. They enjoyed each other. They respected each other. They got along together. There was no issues. It's just that those two people together didn't work. And, and, and that's it. There's no more. It's no more devious. It's not because Hulk Hogan wanted to bury the warrior and get his win back. All these crazy, almost conspiratorial kind of, you know, Dave Meltzer-ish angles that people come up with or reasons for you know, the things they did, don't like. It's it's just, it's fascinating. It's very creative, but it's not realistic and it's not true. 